have a lot of customers who come to the store asking me to repot their plants for them because their plants always die after they repot the plants themselves. And so I ask them questions um, trying to figure out why their plants are dying. And here are the five most common reasons why the plants are dying after being repotted. Hi everyone, this is Jira from Plant Corner. And today I want to film this video because a lot of customers have been wondering why their plants are dying after they repot their plants. And I think there are five main reasons why your plants might not be doing so well after repotting. And as we're approaching spring, which is usually when people decide to repot their plants, I just want to share this so that you can prevent that from happening. And I also want to share one trick that will keep or help your plant adjust better in their new pot. Let's get into it. The first reason why your plant might not be doing so well after repotting is because you were repotting it too early. By too early, I mean two things. One, the plant was just moved from one environment to the other. For example, when you're buying a plant from the store or the greenhouse and you take it home, and it didn't really get to adjust or acclimate to its new environment, once you repot it, that's another change the plant has to face. So they might be struggling a little bit after repotting because they are trying to adjust to multiple things all at once. And the second type of repotting too early is when the plant hasn't really like filled up the pot. So the root system hasn't really filled up the current pot that it's in just yet. So when you move it into another bigger pot, when there's still a lot of space for it to grow in their former pot, it could get suffocated so there might be too much soil too much water and that caused the roots to not be able to breathe or it could cause the pot to remain wet for the soil to remain wet for too long so the plant can get easily infected by like fungi bacteria infection when such environment is happening and that could cause root rot the second reason why your plant might not be doing so well is because you keep the same watering schedule after repotting. And that means you keep the same frequency, you keep the same amount of water. Think about it this way. Before you repot the plant, the plant is in a small pot and the soil is most likely dry and or not holding much water anymore because the plant while growing in that pot has juiced up all the nutrients. So you might have to be, you might notice that you have to water the plant a lot more often as the plant was like about to be ready to be repotted. Now, when you move it to a new pot, has more soil and the new soil usually holds more water than the soil that the plant was in before, but you still keep the same schedule or the same amount of watering. And that could cause the plant to also suffocate because the plant didn't get to dry out in between because the new soil, remember, is holding to more moisture. So what you can do here is you can actually reduce the amount of water every time you water. When you first repot, just try to water until the top soil is moist and see how long does that take for the soil to dry out instead of trying to drench the plant all the way through. That way you kind of slowly let the plant adjust to its new pot size and its new um, soil and that way it reduces the chance of it getting root rot or overwatering. The third most common reason why the plant might die after repotting is because you chose the pot that is too too big for the plant and I I know there's always an exception. I have a customer who knows about plants really well and he knows exactly how much to water. Even though he moved a small plant into a large pot, he would only water just a small amount around the root system of the plant. And it has been working really well for him. However, for most people, we tend to water the whole um, pot and make sure the soil is completely saturated. So that's why when you pick a pot that is too big for its current um, too big for the plant. We, when we water, the soil is holding so much moisture and it creates, a, again, an environment that's very easily for the plant to get infected. So instead of choosing a pot based on the current pot diameter size, I would recommend doing is to take the plant out of the current pot and see how big of a root ball it has. So if the roots are so 
compact and like there's just a lot of root maybe you can increase the pot size just a little bigger not just only two inches bigger maybe you can go like three to four inch bigger depending on the root size however if the plant has just gone through some kind of root rot and then you have to trim some of the roots out before you move it into a new pot and new substrate you might want to reduce the pot size just to so the pot is only slightly bigger than the roots that the plant has that way they don't um, get drawn in water or you, they get to dry out a little bit in between watering um, that way there's less chance of it getting more infection or getting suffocated by the substrate the next reason why your plant is dying after repotting could be because their roots were damaged during the process of repotting for example you might have ripped it apart or you might have to cut some of the roots off um, because the root has rotted just like how when we have a cut on our hands and that's where the um, germs and bacteria can go in and make the infection worse same thing happens to the plants you want to make sure that every time you rip or cut the plants the wound gets to dry off a little bit or you sanitize the wound really well before you pot them into a new substrate or into a new pot that way we can prevent root rot and any bacterial or fungal infection lastly one of the common reasons why your plant doesn't do well after repotting is because we choose the wrong substrate for the plant for example some plants like cacti succulent snake plants they like to dry out in between um, and if we chose the peat based substrate that holds a lot of moisture um, the plant doesn't get to dry out that also creates a good environment for infections to happen and so the plant might not be doing too too well in that new substrate so if you notice that your soil is too dense you could add soil amendments like perlite, pumice, um, bark or calcine clay um, that way you make the soil a little fluffier and more well drained and the air can go in reduce the chance of fungal infection reduce the chance of bacterial infection and your plants will appreciate it another example is when we reuse the old soil to repot the plant so especially when if your old if your plant has some kind of rot that happens before that means there's some kind of harmful bacteria inside the soil and when you repot that plant even if you clean the root but if you repot them into the same type of in, into the same soil that it was in it it the, the harmful bacteria is still there hurting your plant one thing i'd like to note as well is that not all plants need to be repot once a year we only repot the plants when they need that means the roots are growing so much within the pot that they don't have any more room to grow or when the root rot and we have to change the substrate that's when we repot the plant i have some plants that i haven't repotted in years because they don't need it um, they are still growing happily in its current pot for example this hoya of mine has been in this pot for the past few years now it's still growing um, i only need to topsoil them once a year and fertilize them every other time I water and it's still growing happily in there because Hoya's root system is pretty small and fine so they still have room to grow within the pot that it's currently in and one thing that you could add into the soil in order to help the plant adjust to the new home a little easier and better is a fungi called mycorrhizae and how it works is that it's form a network with the roots of the plant and help the plant help transport the nutrients from the soil to the plant a little easier for example if you have three inches of plant roots um, this mycorrhizae fungi actually forms a network so that it seems like the surface area of the root is larger and so the plant can absorb more nutrients in and adjust a little better in their new environment so there you have it five reasons why your plants are not doing well after repotting maybe you're repotting it too early maybe you didn't adjust your watering schedule after you repot the plant maybe the pot that it's in is too big or maybe you have damaged the root while you repot the plant or maybe it could be the substrate maybe something is wrong with the substrate and it's not the right type of substrate for the plant either way just 
keep calm maybe the plant needs some time to adjust to its new environment and it could do better after a certain period of time however if you notice significant decline right after you repot the plant you might need to check what could have gone wrong is it the soil is it because the pot is too big or is it because you keep watering the same amount of water so the plant didn't get time to dry out I wish you the best of luck during this repotting season. Thank you so much again for watching the video. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.